Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers, and this is your three business tips in under three minutes at three o'clock. It is a beautiful December the 26th, the day after Christmas, and for the next six days, we're going to be talking about three things that you should be doing as far as your goal setting session, which for me, I usually take off January 1st and maybe January 2nd, as well as July 1st, to really focus on goals. But I spend usually the first two days of the year working on personal goals and business goals. And with a year like we just had here in COVID 2020, it is time to really sit down and dive into the goals. So my three points for the rest of the week are gonna really focus on goal setting. So let's talk about it from a business perspective today. Number one, we need to reduce expenses. At least once a year, you should be going through all of the expenses that you're using, whether it be employee costs or expenses, like in my case, dealing with servers or marketing. Analyze every single penny you spend in your business, on your business, around your business, and determine whether you want to continue to do that. Maybe you want to increase it or decrease it as we move into 2021. So that's my first goal for you. You obviously want to reduce expenses. Number two is what areas of productivity can you ramp up? What can you improve on? What do you want to grow? What are your goals for 2021? You know, for me, my, my goals may be to, to rehire another employee. My goals may be to increase the number of websites I build per month or per quarter or per year. What are areas you want to ramp up? Ramping up could also mean how do we want to do things? Maybe I want to build websites a little faster. Maybe I want to deliver a product or service a little better. What are quality areas that you want to improve on? What do you want to ramp up? And number three, during your goal setting this year, number three, we should focus on what do you want to create? Do you want to create a new product or a new service or both? In your business, analyze what you're doing. Maybe you may make the best widget there is, but there may be another widget that you could add to that to make it better. Maybe you're in the service industry, you provide a, a wonderful service. What additional services can you provide that would be a good add-on or complementary to the existing customer base you're already working with? So now is the time to be thinking about what it takes to create a new product or service. And as you think that through, what elements are you going to need, what skill sets you're going to need, what employee costs you're going to need in order to accomplish and add to that new product or service. So those are my three tips for you really dealing in the hard core basics of your business. We want to reduce expenses. We want to ramp up productivity and we want to create a new product or service. Do that and you will be more profitable in 2021. And I want you to be successful, to be uh, to accomplish your goals and for you to have a better year than you had this year, even if you had a great year. So as I always say, I want you to be awesome. Now go back to sleep.